Hello and welcome to Chicago Reacts. My name is Lauren and today I'm going to look at Maxor's new video, an incorrect summary of Elden Ring. Rot and gold. Uh, so as of filming, this was uploaded an hour ago. So I'm not entirely sure when I'm going to post it, but uh, soon. <laughs> um, so thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy this one. I always enjoy Max Wars videos. They're, they're frenetic. They're chaotic. They hold my attention. I have to sometimes rewatch them several times afterwards just to make sure I didn't actually miss anything. So if I do miss something, immediately a joke or something that y'all really liked tell me what joke that i missed that is your favorite um and i can't i don't want to waste any time i want to get into this i just saw this came up and i was like done done and done so let's go more elden ring from max on the last episode of elden ring which was nine months ago you could have had a child during that time our heroes set out once again with the noble and realistic goal of Killing God, a task yes. that led them to the highest of peaks, the greatest of challenges, and to the most terrifying of hellscapes hidden from the likes of God and man. There they fought the likes of the mighty Fire Giant, clashed with the Dragon Lord Placigi... Placi How do you pronounce that? Tangled with the uh, literal avatar of death, who, yes, uh, does kill you, defeated the... I mean, one would think, right? I mean, all right, the Egg God thing. The Sanguine Lord of Blood, who for undisclosed reasons is also the Lord of Incest. No, I will not explain that. It's and okay. finally, we don't need the it. secret trails of the Forsaken to reach the mythical Halig Tree is what I would say if I uh, could see anything. Talk about a cold reception, guys. <laughs> um, oh. Guys, wow. they didn't even put enemies here. The enemy is the weather. Sometimes the enemy is just the... Uh, you know, whoever's in charge of the weather, which might be a god. Who knows? Jesus fucking Christ. Wandering sales. aimlessly through the winter storm ambience with icy howling sounds for sleeping, oh relaxing, god. and studying background. See, I really hate that kind of thing. Like, if I can't see where I'm going, because I have a bad sense of direction in general with video games, so as soon as they put, uh, like, the winter... Like, you can't see anything effect in there. I'm super done. Like, when they did that in The Last of Us, I, um, we were supposed to be trading on and off with, uh, with The Last of Us when I was playing that with some friends. But, uh, <laughs> we got to that seed, like, the winter part when they're sneaking through the town. I was like, I can't. I can't. I tried. I've now back at the beginning in four different ways, and I got no closer to where I'm actually trying to go. It's bad. It's rough. We arrive at what I think is the right way, but is obviously not. I uh, <laughs> thought it would be funny to play without Google Maps. I'm sure this dungeon is going to be a lot of fun. Mod is a weird. Ah! Yikes! No okay, thanks. Scratch that up. Uh, Garfield is on fucking meth right now. He gets up. Uh, yeah, really a little bit. For that lasagna. I like that he has a little cape though. Little little cape. That's cute. Good job. Oh my god! It actually works. Oh. Ah. Oh my god, it's these assholes again. Are there, like, normal people in Elden Ring? Just normal folks ever, anywhere, at all? I like the doggies. Oh, bye doggies. Fireworks, okay, great. I'm not even hacking this one, it's just fucked up. Emerging from our bout of blindness and hallucinations. Wow. I do not care who is gang stalking me, I will not take my meds. We arrive at the consecrated snowfield. It's a. Yeah. I had to find my own okay. games today. A beautiful oh, no. and secluded sanctuary for the lost and the forlorn. Which is fantasy speak like for various racial minorities. And if I have to spend one more goddamn minute in this cave, I am going to remind them exactly what happened to Castle Mord. <laughs> I do remember that. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> and no, I don't care how much crack you give the dog. Princess doesn't bite. We've got all oh, kinds of wildlife okay. in the snowfield. Like existential nihilist rat. That's the actual lore, by the way. A oh, okay. I was like, it looks like an R-O-U-S. I wonder if all of the R-O-U-S's are existentialist nihilists. Healthy wolf population and the putrid albinaric race. I love all that of God's creatures. So oh my God. They run faster than me. We also... That is a cool, terrifying bear. We'll have this cool portal that leads you to the, um... The nether? Take me back. I do not wish to be here again. The oh my god, really, what? Uh, affects the vibes. 410 billion! And, and it, does it make you be, like, the... What's it called? The 
Baron or whatever. Like it takes away all your armor and stuff. Yikes. Big Just hits. watch the last part, please. I like to dance. Whenever he does a dance, I love the little dances. You're playing Minecraft in a cave looking for diamonds. That's funny. I'm in the same cave looking for miners. <laughs> I'm definitely going to hell soon. It's okay. Oh, foreshadowing. Lovely. Ooh. Honestly, one thing I'll say about these, like, Elden Ring games and stuff, like, the monsters in them are so cool. Holy shit, what is that? It makes me feel very uneasy. I feel like a, yeah, I a bet. baby sensory video. Really big fan of the mover here. Uh, leaves this universe. You know, personally, I'm uh, not a big fan of the saturation artillery. It can have a bit of a negative effect on the frame rate. You yeah, see, this enemy like... has a cool trick to it, and it's a... Uh, don't look at it. <laughs> oh, my God. I, I can't quite believe it. It's a... Uh, oh, my God. Woman, I can't beat to death. This is the best day of my life. He does like to kill all the women, doesn't he, in these? Oh, there's a... Bu what is that? What is the little animal out there? Is that a dog? Is it a bunny? I don't know. Do you... F it's a squirrel thing? Was it like a chinchilla? What was that? That thing, it looks like a... It kind of looks like a chinchilla squirrel. <laughs> Do you fucking mind, buddy? Wandering past the gigantic carpet bombing, we arrive at the village of disabled women and respond to their aggression by executing their wheelchairs. I've got that dog in me, and he is now euthanized. This Bye, is Ordina, a town which Sorry, guards puppy. a mysterious magic gate and is home Ooh, to an even more mysterious... Parallel what? universe, where everyone uh. is really nice to me, and FromSoft develops normal games. How did you get on the roof without legs? Kinda sensing some bullshit around here. Also, yes, I did color correct it like this. Be glad I haven't flipped the screen yet. Honestly, the dark world isn't really that bad. I like you don't the color correct. Six invisible you don't run ninjas. Into that. I mean, I guess they wouldn't be good ninjas if you could see them. I love the dark world. Uh, it's okay. Everything is normal and okay in the dark world. Was that like an ultra kill scene? Everything is normal. Yes, right? And okay in the dark world. It looks like Archer. Oh. oh my god, look at his titling. It's all upside down and backwards. That's really fun. I like that. Good job, Max Sword. It's the little things. He really, like, delves down into the little things, and his chapter titles are amazing, and he did it. Mwah, hats off. Oh my god. There it is. The mythical Haylig Tree. Shelter to the Forgotten. The salvation of the Forlorn. Home to the giant ants. It's just so beautiful to behold. Uh, uh, Time to chop it down? Please shut the fuck up. <laughs> Running past the uh, Tinnitus <laughs> National Fair. Anthem. Who, by the way, uh, drop this cool horn. Okay. Oh my god, it is loud and annoying, though. Just wanted to show you that. And the best Thank episode you. of Brave Wilderness. I'm Coyote Peterson, and I'm about to be bitten. <laughs> We enter the mysterious Haylig Tree Town, home and habitat of the many minorities that I have spent the entire game brutally slaughtering. Uh, no hard feelings, right, guys? Sorry about what happened to your dad, by the way. Everyone is welcome in the Haylig Tree, except for the handicapped. In which case, fuck you, apparently. Go back to your parallel dimension. This town is built Aww. in a very Rough. similar fashion to a McDonald's jungle gym. <laughs> they really got everything right in regards to the, uh, Bugs and diseases. View is fantastic, but, uh, I have to assail the gap to enter my house. What hate crime did stairs commit? These little shits are going to have an aneurysm when I show them OSHA. Like, what <laughs> do you mean you forgot to build a railing? When was uh -oh. this bridge constructed exactly? Where 10, is the wet floor ago. sign? I'm gonna need that to clean up the blood. I like the music. I always like the music. Always like the music in his videos. Get a horse up here. I am genuinely curious. Magic. Sorry about what happened. Okay, look. Horses can show up in weird places. Have you never seen a horse in a tree? I've seen pictures of a horse in a tree. I don't know how they get up there, but they, horses on top of roofs. Horses can get up to some weird places somehow. 
Unless all of the pictures that I've seen are all fake, but I don't think so. It happened to your family, by the way. And, uh, your soul, apparently. Oh, Look, he took his clothes I know that again. sounds bad, but in my defense, I was really hungry. Uh, <laughs> go, go, gadget, bubble attack. You and that bubble have been nothing but trouble. It's time to end it. <laughs> uh, I, I don't think her AI can handle that. This boss is See, quite oh, the challenge, plus is. a little bit more. With It seems like every single boss is quite the challenge. Like, is there any boss that's not quite a challenge? The only it doesn't seem like it. being that I fought it five times already, and it didn't even help. Mainly oh, because Loretta has an ungodly amount of magic. And if you don't close the distance, she will literally never stop shooting at you. Ah. Like, bro, uh, d d please, I just <laughs> want to heal right now. It looks so fucking cool, though. I have never had cool. so much fun getting destroyed. Let's just uh, <laughs> send this shit to the glue factory, please. Get a I also really like her Mother Miranda headdress. Take her out behind the stable. <laughs> well, that worked. So after defeating the funny horse, we descend the length of the hailing tree and pass the... What a thrill. Normally sized ladder. Why why would you build it like this? Down to the city of our heart's desire. El Fail. Brace of the Hailing Tree. Kind of a shitty tree if you have to brace it. Oh god, yeah, I'm sorry bit. for slandering your city. I ah! it's really nice this time of year. And ah! I can definitely say that it is absolutely breathtaking. In a literal sense. I have uh, died here a lot, okay? Nice place you got here. Can't wait to give it a new paint job. This is the With final red. legacy dungeon of the game. And as a result of that, the uh, most insane, gripping the hailing tree with a golden veneer, El Fail betrays its true nature of dark and sinister decay. Especially when it comes to the uh, back alleys on the wrong side of town. I fucking, uh, I, genuinely, how is this legal? Oh, sweet, cool, it's another one. Yeah, no, I'm, uh, I'm really wondering what color my inside is. Oh, are. God. Me. This is the first five minutes of the street, by the way. That seems unfair. Wow, I can't wait to meet the guy who owns this place. Really hope that he's not up to anything up. Sinister Nefarious? or incestuous. Because that would be fucking Ugh. weird. Yeah, it would be. It'd be Something odd. is telling me I'm not supposed to go this way. The death cannons are giving me up. Bad vibes. How are you <laughs> even supposed to get past this shit? I just want to use the bonfire, please. You don't have to be like this. It's fun to be like this, though. We enjoy it. It gives us pleasure. Oh, yes, my... Not me always on the side of the monsters. <laughs> like, every single time. Favorite from software level? For one moment, I thought I was actually safe. Is that, my that was mind? foolish. Oh, cool. There's a thing over there. Can't wait for this to work Butterfly. out. Just I'm a... <laughs> I'm not fucking doing this. You have fun over there, buddy. I, I choose life. No, I don't, actually. That's a lie. Six dollar shrimp special. Shrimp heaven now. now you got this, man. Uh, worst she can do is kill you. Again. Many, many times. Hey there, babe. Uh, were you born on a minefield? Okay. I dreamt for so long that I thought I had died. Hoping, pleading, awaiting the return of my brother, Nicola show about that I have killed 15 of you today I will kill 20 of you tomorrow like me personally that's interesting how many alternate universes is she involved in and one day my brother will find his way home by the smell of the bodies heed my warning I am Melania blade of Mikola And I have never known defeat. Well, you're about to, bitch. Will you? Hey, 
Hey guys, welcome back to the fight with, uh, Melatonin Blade of Michelin. I can remember that name because she says it every time she kills you, which is a lot. I am Melania, Blade of Michelin. I am Melania, I am Melania. How many times do I have to kill you, boy? Can you fucking stop now? Melania Blade of Mikola is the hardest boss that FromSoft has ever made, and there are several good reasons for this. The first of which being, no she isn't. I just happen to have a sense of shame. She is incredibly fast, incredibly tanky, chains incredibly long combos, and gains health after every hit, making this less of an endurance fight and more of a goddamn marathon, punishing you with a grave setback for each and every mistake, which for me is a frequent occurrence not to mention that the boss is so confident she will wait for you to attack. Quite a while, actually. I honestly think I fucking confused her. She was <laughs> not ready for the spread eagle strategy. <laughs> Melania demands nothing short of absolute perfection, where every move must be calculated and anticipated oh my God. right up until she jumps in the air. At which point, you are done playing the game. Just put the controller down now, buddy. If you are- I wanted to see what that says. I'm using a mod that what? Right up until- she jumps in the air. At which point, you are done playing the game. Just put the controller- No! I'm using a mod that adds in the unused moves of the waterfowl dance and otherwise tweaks them so there can be more variation in the footage. Okay. Down now, now, buddy. I don't if know If you are means. ever caught by this move at any time, you are dead. There is no dodging it. There is no tanking it. There is only running There's away from it. There's a little bit of tanking And it. watching it get closer. No matter what you do, some part of this thing is going to hit. And when it does, it is going to extend this boss fight by a lot. Ah. Don't really know why people have problems with this boss. I'm gonna get How a fucking get so short? glass of water real quick. Really, Melania is the type of- She doesn't bat to go down, just straight across. That's great that you can actually like lie down and just win. <laughs> is that a mod too? Fight that you are never actually ready for. And I can say with absolute certainty that nothing in the game could have equipped me for this. Removes Not even her bones. Boneless 10 times speed more gods. Ah! The fastest, strikes the hardest, and changes between all of her attacks, seemingly at random, making for a boss that you can never quite predict, much less understand. But ultimately, those are just the reasons that I keep coming back to her. Again, and again, and again. I, I do plan on finishing it, taking pure, unadulterated pleasure in finally conquering a boss that really, really wants you dead. Uh, that would be... Very exciting. If once you finally win something like that, it's like, I don't and have to do anything else forever. I'm done. I've succeeded at life. Feelings mutual. I am Melania. Blade of Nicola. Rip. Uh, sorry, didn't quite catch the name. <laughs> Pretty cool looking tree though. Is there a person in there? Wait. Yep, I knew she would get a fighting form. Oh, it's like an anemone. Her final form is an anemone? I hope you're ready to laugh. Because I'm about to make Caleb look like a fucking joke! You will witness true horror. At the she gets hands big. of the Scarlet Rot. Because I'm going to kill you again. 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 Yikes. I guess he got her, but like, god damn. Well, 
I can't wait uh, for the next the next episode of that whenever it shows up. Oh my god, that's intense. Wow. All right. Well, I felt like I feel I feel like I went through a lot of emotions in that one. Um, looks like if you go to his uh, his page, you can use code Maxor for ten percent off of Gamer Subs. So yet another reason to pop over to Maxor's page and support him over there. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe here too if you want to see more stuff like that. Let me know in the comments what I should react to next. If you want to support us monetarily, you can do that as well. Um, you can do super chats, become a channel member. You can become a patron. Our Patreon right now is going to be primarily um, uh, anime. Uh, material but we've got a movie or two over there as well so go ahead check that out if you're interested and again let me know what to watch next in the comments below and i will see you in the next video bye bye <laughs>